So I just got done talking for like eight minutes only to realize my camera wasn't recording. So I'm trying to find that same energy, but I am quite upset at this point. <sighs> All right, here we go. it's Kat and I'm back again <laughs> with the same video I just did because my SD card decided to run out of space and quietly say I'm not gonna record anymore <laughs> anyway all right really quick we're gonna talk about stalls look I don't have that much time because my camera's on 20% and I need to make sure I give you the same information that I gave in the last video even though there's a new video one of the biggest questions that I get and I can't believe I haven't made this video sooner people want to know about stalls so let's hop right into it before I get started, I know I just said I was going to hop into it, but you need to like, subscribe, and also share to my page and this channel. If you like my content, if you like me, if I've ever inspired you, encouraged you, taught you something, made you get up and go for another day, give your girl some something. Okay, like, subscribe, and share. That always helps us YouTubers. A stall is something that happens when you are on this journey as a sleeper where you're losing weight, you're doing the things you're supposed to be doing, maybe not, but you're losing weight and then all of a sudden er, you get in a scale one day and the needle stops moving and then you get on the scale next week and it's still there and so on and so on and so forth where the scale stops moving. It's very frustrating for a lot of us sleepers and sometimes we don't get all the answers we want to get concerning why this even happened. So I'm going to give you the insight my doctor gave me along with what worked for me. Okay, first off, did I have a stall? Yes. I had my surgery August 31st, 2016. Okay, by the time I got home from the hospital, not only had I lost weight, but I mean, I was just happy. I was just happy because I knew I wasn't going to be fat anymore. So off, off top. I was somebody who was in high spirits and excited about the journey. So tip number one about stalls, check your emotional gauge. Check out how you feel, understand why you feel like that, and be aware of it. Oftentimes, stalls can come from you stressing out and not giving your body the time and space to heal. But we'll get into that in a minute. I get home from the hospital. I'm losing, losing, losing. Uh, February, January comes around 2017. And what do you know? I hit a stall at about 240 pounds. I stayed there for almost seven weeks. And I can honestly say for myself, I was chilling. I know you might be thinking, girl, stop lying. No, I was chilling. I was 293 pounds when I started this journey. And I had lost over 50 pounds already. When I had my surgery, I was 275. So for me... I was grateful and excited to be 240. I hadn't been 240 since I gave birth to my firstborn, you know, back in 2007. So for me, I was excited. Was I a little bit uh, concerned? A little bit. I think I would lie if I said I just wasn't worried about it. But I don't think I was trying to make myself continue on losing weight. I just kept going to the gym and walking and trying to eat small meals and get my water down. And after seven weeks, I started losing again. Not only that, I inevitably would get down to 184 pounds. So if you're going through a stall, number one, check your emotions at the door, baby girl or sir. Um, I think that putting your body under evasive surgery is something that we're not used to doing at an unhealthy state. You know, maybe, maybe you have. I had never had major surgery before VSG. And so your body, your organs are trying to find the new normal. They're trying to understand how to cope without all those extra pieces that they're missing, how to heal the incisions, you know, whether you had it done laparoscopically by a machine or by a doctor, it's a lot. And so with you being upset because I only lost 40 pounds and now it's just, my body just stopped. Like, damn, give yourself a break. Uh, I get people all the time that hit me up mad about the stall. When I ask how much they've lost, they tell me like these crazy, amazing weights, 20 pounds, 30 pounds, 40, some even 50 some even 60. And I'm like, the problem is you haven't fallen in love with the journey. You have not fallen in love with the journey. You have not taken the time to say, you know what, every day, what have, what am I learning about myself? What have, what, what, what has changed from pre-surgery to post-surgery? What are some things I'm struggling with right now? Do I need to talk to somebody right now? Do I need a counselor, a therapist, a life coach? We don't want to deal with that. All we want to do is see the needle move on the scale, and that's a problem. Uh, another thing that can affect the stall is that your body is really trying to understand your new normal. When I was younger, I was always a thinner, thicker girl. So I don't mean thick like thick, like voluptuous. I mean thick like wasn't fat, but a solid girl. You know, I remember being 120 pounds in the sixth grade. 
So, you know, when I was a senior in high school, I was about 160, but I'm also almost six feet tall. So I was a larger lady. I was larger than the average size American woman, right? I did not know if my body would get back to 160 pounds. I went to college and gained 20 eating good. I went to school in the South. Baby, we had cheese grits every morning. I had never seen nothing so amazing in my life and gained 20 pounds. So I was about 180 when I got pregnant with my daughter, right? After I lost all the weight, what I finally realized is, wow, I got back down to 184 pounds. So 180 is about a healthy place for me to be. Right now, I'm about 195 pounds. I've gained weight. I have eaten what I wanted to eat. I haven't gone to the gym. But I've also learned how to continue having portion control. So what I've learned about my body is I shouldn't be 200 pounds and over, period. Unless I'm having a baby or unless I get very, very sick and they put me on a special diet or, you know, I have a thyroid issue, I should not be over 195 pounds. That's with me eating bad occasionally and not going to the gym consistently. So your body's trying to figure out. So if you're somebody who's larger and you were always fat or big your whole life, well, then for you, it's going to be different. You may have been, you know, 200 pounds, 5'4", you know, your whole life. And now you're up to 300 you may not go back down to 200. Your body may want you at 150. So, you know, you got to understand that your body's trying to figure out and calibrate and nobody knows what that is. We can look at a chart and tell you what your BMI should be and tell you how much you should weigh, but nobody knows for sure exactly what's going on on the inside of your body. There's a variety of other re reasons you can hit a stall. There are lots of people, I was one of them who had diabetes prior to having the surgery. So your body is trying to eradicate that, trying to balance out your, your sugar and try to understand about your hypertension or any other health problem you may have had pre-surgery. Stalls can be a symptom of your body trying to regulate those things. I mean, I can go down the list of why stalls happen. I think this video is more focused on informing you if you've had the surgery, thinking about having the surgery, or you're getting ready to have the surgery, or you're having surgery right now. I'm trying to cover all the bases. That you understand stall is a part of the process. If you start off your journey being grateful for every step you take and not being frustrated that it's not going as fast as you would like to, you're going to experience it different. I think for me, I'm a different YouTuber. I'm not going to be a YouTuber to get on here and tell you all the reason why you shouldn't have it uh, because it didn't work for me. I'm not going to get on here and talk about how, you know, I had a scary encounter during my journey. None of that happened to me. My journey was long. My journey was frustrating because I was excited to just get it done. But overall, it changed my family. It changed me. It, it, it changed the trajectory of my life. And so when I communicate to you watching this, why you should get it, I can only speak from my experience. And my experience is I enjoyed every part of my journey. Did I get frustrated? Yes. Did I drop the ball? Yes. Did I feel some days, how am I going to ever make it to my surgery day? Absolutely 100%. I had to see the psychiatrist. I had to go get my thyroid checked. I had a, a kidney stone from taking too many calcium pills and they wanted to not give me the surgery because of that. It was so many things that kept delaying my surgery date. And then one day I went to the doctor and he scheduled me. He said, August 31st is the, no the soonest I had. It was August 16th. I said, I'll take it. And I mean, I just remember being like, finally, finally, I've been fighting and I made it here. So I just want to encourage you to understand that it's not that I had it easy. It's that I made a decision up here to go through it differently than I saw other people going through it. There are some people watching this and your insurance is acting crazy. If you're a person of faith, then you ought to know it's going to be obstacles standing in your way to get to where you say you want to be. You got to continue to pray. Get information. There are tons of videos on YouTube telling you what to do if you get denied by your insurance. I was with Kaiser and my doctor told me about it. I qualified because I was overweight and I had diabetes. Off top, I qualify. I know everybody else's health care is not like that. But what I am saying to you is fight for it. Fight for it. Just like you got to fight for your peace and your joy. And like I talk about on these, on these videos, you have to fight in order to get yourself to a space of achieving and, and, and receiving the thing that you told God you wanted. You told everybody, you tell yourself you want it. Don't let a stall keep you from enjoying the process. Because I'm going to tell you something. You spend a lot more time in the process than you do in the destination. Because even now, I've lost the weight and I'm wearing a size medium shirt. But baby, I still have work to do. I want to tone up. I want to be able to wear certain type of bathing suits. I'm not finished. And if I waited until I got the flat stomach and the tummy tuck and the movie deal and the business popping and the new house and all that to finally say, ah, 
I'm gonna miss out on a whole bunch of beautiful days that I could have just said, God, thank you in my storm or on the journey or on the road. Thank you. Thank you for my blessings. And you go through it a little bit differently than you went through trials and tribulations this time last year or last time. So anyway, not a lot on stall. I just want to address the issue. Let it go, sis, bro. Find something to be excited about, be happy about. Um, like, subscribe, and share. Email me. Listen, you made it to the end of the video, so I want to tell you something. I have a big surprise. I'm going to announce it on Christmas. Really be telling y'all some stuff that I got coming. VSG and me boxes are real. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. But here are the boxes I'm going to show you. Yes, baby, they are real. They are on my way to a house, to my house so I can fold them up, stuff them with all these goodies, and mail them out. If you want to purchase, because they're not free, <laughs> a VSG and me kit slash box, um, what you can do is email me at kbranchman at gmail.com. I'm only selling 30 of them in the month of January because I am a small business. So I want to make sure I send out high quality products. And so in order to do that, I have to take my time. And so, like I said, I'm only doing 30 boxes. So hit me, let me know, Kat, I want to get it. Uh, probably the last week of December, you will have to go ahead and send in your payment for your box so I can get all my shipping addresses on file and have everything ready to go and measured and weighed and shipped out and uh, get them to you. If you want to know what's in the box, stay tuned. I will be going through all the products, showing you everything, explaining what, I, what my goal is. I mean, it's going to be amazing and I'm really excited. I'm really excited to service the ladies and gentlemen who are a part of Sleever's journey. I want to give you not only my content, and my motivation, but I want to give you um, products that help you uh, sustain the weight that you're going to lose. I love you guys. I'll see y'all later. Peace.